Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on wind energy for the calculation of tip speed ratio. So first I will read what is the given problem. An offshore wind turbine with three 60 meter blades rotated at 12 rpm. Wind is whipping along at 18 meter per second. What is the tip speed ratio for this turbine? How does this compare to optimal tip speed ratio for this turbine? So this was the given question. Now let us first understand what is the given data and which factors we have to find out. So here the given data is number of blades that is n is equal to 3. Then the length of the blade 60 meter. So here the length of blade it will act as the radius for that circular area. So we can say that L is equal to R is equal to 60 meter. Then the blade rotation rate. So blade rotation rate 12 rpm that is 12 revolution per minute. So we can say that in one minute there, there are for one minute there are total revolutions 12. 12 revolutions of the blade. Then the wind speed 18 meters per second that is this velocity is given and we have to find out what is the tip speed ratio and we have to also find out or we have to compare this uh, tip speed ratio with optimal tip speed ratio that is what is the meaning of optimal tip speed ratio that is the tip speed ratio for maximum power. So here what is the notation for the tip speed ratio we will say this is the lambda and for this optimal tip speed ratio we will say here this is the lambda optimal. Now we will first move for the tip speed ratio. So what is the tip speed ratio? That is the tip speed of the blade divided by wind speed. So the wind speed is given. Now we have to find out what is the tip speed of the blade. So what is the speed? So speed is in meter per second. So we will first find out for this blade what is the meter per second. So we will take one revolution. So for the one revolution, what is the distance traveled by this tip of the blade in meter that we have to first find out. And then for the one revolution, that is what is the time that is required for this complete of one revolution. That means time in second that we have to find out. So when we find out what is the distance traveled in meter and what is the time in second by the blade tip for the completion of one revolution then we can take the ratio and we can find out what is this tip speed of the blade. So first we will move for the distance traveled by this tip of the blade for the one revolution. So when the blade tip completes one revolution that is the revolution is in the circle. So what is the distance traveled? That means perimeter of the circle or we can say circumference of the circle and it is equal to 2 pi r. So what is the 2 pi r? r is given that is length of this blade 60 meter. So distance traveled 2 pi into 60 that is 377 meter. Now for the completion of this one revolution, what is the time that is required? So if we observe here, for the blade rotation rate that is for 1 minute 12 revolutions are getting completed. So for 1 revolution what is the time required. So we will find out this time in second. So 1 minute means what there are 60 seconds. So we have to write here for 60 seconds 12 revolutions are there. So for 1 revolution what is the time. So we will consider this as a x. Now we will make here the cross multiplication. That is x into 12 which is equal to 60 into 1. So x is equal to 60 by 12. So we can say that time for this one revolution of the tip which is equal to 5 seconds. Now we will get the distance in meter and time in second. So what is the tip speed of the blade? That is this meter 377 divided by the second that is 5 that is meter per second. So here 377 by 5 divided by wind speed. That is 18. So we can say that 75 by 18 which is equal to 4.2.
now we have to compare this with the optimal tip speed ratio so optimal tip speed ratio that means the tip speed ratio for the maximum power so it's a formula is 4 pi by n and where n is the number of blade so 4 pi by 3 which is equal to 4.3 so if we observe this lambda and this lambda optimal are same so we can say that this tip speed ratio is equal to this optimal tip speed ratio